So this is also quite interesting. The rain has stopped and it seems that the rain has stopped for the week now, which should be helpful for our planting project. But what I wanted to show you, so this is basically high tide. And you can see there in the top center of the image, we do have a little stream that comes from over there. And here on the other side, you can also see the pipes. I'm not sure which one is the active one, but it is definitely <laughs> the highest tide that we can have here. Uh, here is Mr. Cat munching away on the food. And here is a bit more detail. So the vetiver is also kind of submerged. So higher it won't get. And let's go over here. I did cut the vetiver here a few days back, which was good. So now this is clear and we can walk here. You see, this is completely full. We got a lot of rain. And here where I walk, <laughs> also puddles. Well, this is all trenched. Also here on the other side. Of course, uh, this is catchment area. It goes downhill here. It would be a good place for another thing like a swale. Not really a swale. My thought was to plant several rows of vetiver there in front of the fence. Which then works in a similar way like a swale. It's all about slowing it down and it should be stored in the soil. So it's not to build a water reservoir, but give it time so that they can sink in. And here on the other side, this shallow area is also well filled. So that's pretty impressive. trees are making leaves. They had some flowers already, the peaches here. And now they are making more leaves. If you look closely, you can see here and there a flower that's still there. So over there are the sheep. Sakahawea is somewhere there in the distance you might be able to spot her. There is plenty of food. So this here is flowing as you might be able to spot and it goes into here and that is where we want to plant. That body of water there is on purpose, so that's okay. But I would assume that everything else is also pretty soaked. We will see how the next few days uh, will be. At least the day is very nice. We get sunshine. So that should help to dry all this up a little bit. But I have my doubts. We have gotten a lot of rain, a lot more than we used to in the last two or three years. So this is something new, but it's greatly welcome. It is only that it complicates things a little bit, but at the end, it's very positive. Well, I'm getting closer and what I can already see and also hear, it is faint, but it is there. There is a lot of water in this outflow of the water reservoir. 
So I would assume the water reservoir is overflowing by all the rain. And there in the distance, you might be able to see that there is a lot of water and it's moving. A uh, few steps more and uh, you can see this in more detail. So let's go and explore this. This is the second time that I see it that high. But this time it actually appears to be much higher and there's a lot more flow. So that's quite interesting. course we missed the school pickup because we cannot cross this <laughs> and the masons who are working on the cortejo they also decided to somehow cross it on foot well there is a, a little bridge here on the other side there in the distance there is a bridge so they basically walked here on the left side and uh, yeah that is pretty impossible to cross it is actually higher than the last time when i saw this which was i guess in march 2018 i think and yeah this is uh, pretty impossible because you don't know exactly where the curved driveway, yes, it is submerged. You can't really see that. You can guess it. Somewhere there you have to make the turn. But yeah. And uh, the pickup has some other issues. And of course the tires are also worn out. So it's definitely a no-go. Of course in a properly maintained 4x4 vehicle that would be not a big issue. If I had the Jeep, it's in the it's in the shop at the moment to fix a few things and new tires then i would definitely try that but um, right now we are stuck which is nice so instead of being snowed in <laughs> we have a body of water that we cannot cross it will take a few days to clear up so let's explore this for you guys a little bit further and let me also announce something we will see how this will turn out so i just spoke with angel on the phone and uh, he is trying to get us some some stuff some material and you see there in the distance there is a bridge this is a public road over there and our idea is that he can go over that bridge and then come down here, which is a piece of uh, driveway that's used for trucks. And this can be opened. And then he can loop around here and come into our door by keeping all the way there to the left. And then maybe he can come in here. The car that we got for him is a Toyota RAV4. Uh, so this is a 4x4 and has 20 centimeters of ground clearance and this might this might work so he is mostly on elevated ground but of course two of the wheels will be in the water but that should not be a problem so maybe that works the other thing that i wanted to show you is you see how this looks like and you can clearly see that we did have flooding here so all this material here was brought in by the high tide and then it overflew over there so it's uh, very nice to see that during the night when it was raining more heavily all this happened so it's a very pretty uh, yeah impressive sight <laughs> it is pretty and impressive And I am now finding my way back. And maybe on the way up, there are a few more things that I can show you. 
I think this is going to be a short video just to show you this and keep you updated. But I believe we will not leave this place for a few days until this has cleared. We'll see. The water retention should work very good. So this is our side here. And over there is the neighbor. The one that does everything by the book and runs sheep. That is why everything is so short. The animals have to eat, so that's understandable. And if you only have one place where you keep your animals, like it is very common, transhumans isn't a thing anymore. There are still some people doing it, but uh, that's very rare. The majority of people goes to work by feeding the animals and then does another odd job. That's how they survive as uh, livestock people. Um, I wouldn't say rancher because that implies the US model of that. So I'm not trying to judge this. It is simply a reality, fact of life for people who do this. And we made some experiments, so I definitely know how difficult that can be. And it is basically impossible to really make a living unless you do all kinds of other jobs on the side. So it's more to keep up a tradition or something like that. It's a very sad situation, so it should not be this way. But here in our case, without livestock, of course, things are growing. You can see here and there a few signs of the horses grazing. I have not seen them this morning. They might be there where their friend is, Sakahawea, to keep her company over the wall. But you can see that everything is growing like crazy. The sun is rising and it's a beautiful morning. A wet one. But it makes me happy to see all that, despite the little challenges that we now have. The horses have been here after the rain. But it might be that it was in the very early morning. Might also be that I will find them somewhere there ahead. So ahead is A7. The place for the Miyawaki forest. I will take the opportunity. It's on the phone, it's a bit difficult. So I will take the opportunity to peek into this area a little bit more. My worry is that we are unable to plow those little trenches that should intersect and then provide the spots to plant all the trees because this is soaking wet. Of course, first we need to cut all the things. Uh, that's with a weed whacker. And we have organized some help for that. And we have two weed whackers, the electric one and the gas powered one. So that is something that we wanted to do. But then I have my doubts that we will be able to work here with our new BCS two-wheel tractor. We will give it a try on Friday, but this might be very difficult. We ordered a few shovels just in case to uh, some spades and with that Maybe it's also possible. But then, of course, the plan to put 28,000 saplings into the ground was to just distribute them and then close the trench with your feet. And the other method is a lot slower. But we will see. This could dry out quickly enough so that we can do something. There is 
still time. And if the sun stays out like that, that sun is very powerful, that might, might work out in the end. But as of today, I have a little bit of doubts. <laughs> it is very good that we have all the rain, but uh, it's kind of the wrong moment. <laughs> so all that rain later would have been better. There might be something on its way, but the forecast for the coming week is clear. But you cannot really trust a 10-day forecast. That might change quickly. You might hear some pigs screaming. They are being fed. That is somewhere over there in the distance. Pigs always scream for excitement. Doesn't matter what it is. It sounds like something bad is happening, but it's not. So here, the area next to us, you can see it's A8. That's basically our overflow area. And up there, around this pond, this um, is also where we can plant more. And that pond obviously is full. Let me go there and have a look. And this is where the horses are sleeping or resting. You can clearly see the ground is pretty disturbed by their hoof action. That's what they do. I haven't seen these flowers before. There's a whole patch of them. the blue ones well, there's something positive happening here uh, this here is the berm that we created so we dug out from down there and then moved the material to here it sits on contour and it should retain the water to the right. And it seems that it does this. We do have some more or less fresh horse manure here. And this is now A9. That's our overflow area for more of the trees. And behind this, there should be a pond. So let's walk up here. And have a look. And by the way, you can see how thick that is. So here we are. And it's not full because the soil is extremely sandy. And it all flows away despite the heavy rain. That is what I expected to see. So this pond is not really holding anything. This area is shallow anyway, and then there's the rock. And here, this is uh, also just a few centimeters deep. But with more vegetation and a changing soil, this might then hold water for longer. But then, it's not for irrigation or something like that. So now someone thinks, ah, you could seal the pond. No, I don't want to seal this. The idea is to keep the water for longer, like a swale, and let it infiltrate and be taken up by the roots of the plants all around. So that's the purpose. It's not to have a body of water here all the time. So it's okay that it flows away. And it will flow away slower if there are more plants making use of it and the soil structure changes. So I think, but I definitely don't want to seal it. I want to plant it and basically treat it like a depression in the soil or like a swale. And you can see the area there is definitely, well, at least four meters lower. 
than the water level here. So it's no wonder that this water will find its way down there. But it's to help whatever will be growing in the lower areas. This here is another area where the horses have been grazing. You can clearly see that. Especially if you compare it to the stuff all around. It's kind of a hole where they had been finding very good nutrition for themselves. And now it's going to be interesting to see if this vehicle will start. I had some problems. This is overdue to be taken to a shop, but it's also a complicated thing. Because here in Spain, in this area, there is no shop that can really work on these cars. In Germany, in the Netherlands, in the other places, there is. But around here, you don't see them. I once saw a similar vehicle on its way to Seville. And one of you guys actually told me that the Ford dealership there would be working on these. Um, you never got back to me. So if you hear this, um, maybe <laughs> send me an email because you said you have a family member who owns one of these. And I would love to have a contact. And no, this will not start. There is a problem with the oil. There is an oil leak in the engine. And we've been filling it up since ever. Then when we detected this, and this is why it needs to go to the shop, to be restored basically. It's a restoration project. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it died, so it won't start. We need to have a look how we can get this away from here. I am basically waiting on the confirmation for the transport to take this car to Germany, as uh, was the plan. But so far, they have not gotten back to me. Of course, they will not come here just to pick this one up. They try to plan a route, uh, a route for several. So, a combined transport. And yeah, this Easter week also screws things up because people are supposed to celebrate something. Not that I'm a member of this, but <laughs> yeah, I know that people do that. And it's a big thing to some. So, happy for you. And yeah, so we have a few things <laughs> to resolve um, that were kind of unexpected, like this car blocking the driveway. But we can certainly take the backhoe and move it a little bit instead of manpower. That should work easily. It's a pickup after all. So if the backhoe pushes it, that's certainly be okay. So we just move it aside so that they can pass here. Once we are able to get in, that's the other thing. It's an interesting uh, few days now. And needless to say, that further ahead, the fort and the seasonal creek and this uh, shallow pond, a sediment trap, they are ahead in the center of the image. Of course, this is all full and flooded. And the water is also coming in from the right, from the neighbor's place. So that is very interesting. And you can see my daughter there. She has the wrong shoes <laughs> because we were crossing this in the car. And now I have to take her on my back <laughs> and carry her over to the other side. Well, we definitely do have a stream and you can also see by the signs of that that it definitely was rushing down here when it was raining so if i pan over to the other side you can see all the glory of the water that we have yeah we will go home we will go home and there are the horses that I have been looking for. That is their hangout spot. And 
he successfully crossed this. I am not really complaining about all the rain. That's a great thing. It's just an inconvenience that we can't leave. But even that makes me a little bit happy.